Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, working with models and blueprints in Flask. In this section, we will learn about creating models with their relationships, creating schemas to validate, serialize and deserialize models, combining blueprints with resourceful routing, registering the blueprint and run migrations, creating and retrieving related resources. Now we move on to the video, creating models with their relationships. In this video, we will create the models to represent and persist the message categories, messages, and their relationships. Now, open the API models.py file and replace its contents with the highlighted block of code. The code file for the sample is included in the RESTful Python section 04 folder. It is very important to create the Flask SQL Alchemy with SQL Alchemy class named DB. This instance will allow us to control the SQL Alchemy integration for our Flask application. In addition, the instance will provide access to all the SQL Alchemy functions and classes. Then the code creates an instance of the Flask Marshmallow with Marshmallow class named MA. It is very important to create the Flask SQL Alchemy with the SQL Alchemy instance before the Marshmallow instance and therefore order matters in this case. Marshmallow is a wrapper class that integrates Marshmallow with a Flask application. The instance named MA will provide access to the schema class, the fields defined in marshmallow.fields and the flask specific fields declared in flask marshmallow.fields. We will use them later when we declare the schemas related to our models. The code creates the add update delete class that declares the three methods to add, update and delete a resource through SQL Alchemy sessions. Add method receives the object to be added in the resource argument and calls the db.session.add method with the received resource as an argument to create the object in the underlying database. Finally, the code commits the session. Update method just commits the session to persist the changes made to the objects in the underlying database. Delete method receives the object to be deleted in the resource argument and calls the db.session.delete method with the received resource as an argument to remove the object in the underlying database. Finally, the code commits the session. The code declares the two models, that is, message and category. Specifically, two classes as a subclass of both the db.model and the addUpdateDelete classes. We specified the field types, maximum lengths and defaults for many attributes. The attributes that represent fields without any relationships are instances of the db.column class. Both models declare an ID attribute and specify the true value for the primary key argument to indicate it is the primary key. SQL Alchemy will use the data to generate the necessary tables in the PostgreSQL database. The message model declares the category field with the highlighted lines of code. The highlighted lines use the db.relationship function to provide a many-to-one relationship to the category model. The backref argument specifies a call to the db.backref function with messages as the first value that indicates the name to use for the relation from the related category object back to a message object. The order by argument specifies message.message .message because we want the messages for each category to be sorted out by the value of the message field in ascending order. Both models declare a constructor, that is, the init method. This constructor for the message model receives many arguments and uses them to initialize the attributes with the same names message, duration and category. The constructor for the category model receives a name argument and uses it to initialize the attribute with the same name. Finally, save the file to keep the changes. In this video, we created the models to represent and persist the message categories, messages and their relationships.